Today we're going to talk about how the shaft is actually going to move on its incline. So I've set up my station again just as your observation for you. I've got the orange board set at an angle. I have a 5 iron at the same angle as my 5 iron. I've got a target line going out toward the target and one back from it. So that target line extends back through the ball, through the ball, into the target. It's infinite, okay? So once you get set up, I also put a T in the end of my grip in that little hole in the end. So remember, all we're talking about now is this shaft. It's got two ends, okay? So once you're set up and ready to go, as your body's turning on its tilt, this is the big subject for today. This shaft is going to invert or swap ends as you're turning. It's important to know your body has a path that it's moving on and the golf club has a path it's moving on. They don't move on the same paths. They're different, but they work together. So we're talking about the shaft. As you're turning, the head's gonna go up and the butt of the club's gonna go down. So this angle resembles the angle it was at a dress. It's a little higher than that because you pivot it at the same time. So a checkpoint you're going to work on is as you're turning, the shaft is either going to be parallel to your target line or the lowest end is going to be pointing at that target line. So that's how you know if the club goes this way it went away from you and then up. That ends the low end. It's not pointing at the target line anymore. So you're turning on a tilt and this shaft is going to be swapping on a tilt. Even when you're at the top, this is still the low end. It's going to point at your target line going backwards. So what you're going to start to do is work on your pipe drill first and then you're going to start adding in. As you're turning, you're going to allow that shaft to swap ends as you're turning. So when you're halfway back, the T is going to point at the target line. You finish your turn, it's still going to be at the target line unless the shaft is parallel at the top. Take care.